Hey what's up everyone, it's Fisayo here and in this video we'll be talking about the newly launched MTN eSIM but first let's talk about SIM card subscriber identification module as the full name it's that small chip that you put in your phone which identifies you as a subscriber of a network and it enables you to make phone calls and send messages among many other things SIM cards have evolved from huge full-size credit card SIMs in 1991 that was the first form factor. Five years later, in 1996, we got the mini SIM, aka the regular SIM, which ha we had in our bulky Nokia 3310s back in the day. They were usually cut from that big credit card sized uh, SIM card, and this became the standard SIM, the second form factor. In fact, this is where the next two generations were being cut from. 2003 saw the introduction of micro SIM, had the same thickness as the normal standard SIM, but much smaller in footprint. It wasn't until 2010 that it was widely adopted and this was around the iPhone 4 era which in fact was the first smartphone to use a micro sim this was the third form factor two years later in 2012 the nano sim which is the fourth form factor was introduced on the 11th of october in 2012 it was a little bit less thick and it was so small it was almost as if it was the chip and the plastic on the other side well in 2016 the embedded sim or e-sim was announced it's just a chip embedded directly inside your smartphone right from the manufacturing process it doesn't require a physical card and you can add or remove up Operators at your will. That is why we're here today. The eSIM is in fact a substitute for an actual physical plastic SIM card. If your smartphone supports it, you only need to add your SIM profile to your phone and it's the same as having a normal SIM card, just no card. The main differences between an eSIM and the normal SIM card is that now you don't have to have a physical sim card to worry about it's only a reprogrammable logical profile on your smartphone a regular sim card holds one profile for the customer but an eSIM enables multiple profiles for the customer which is a better advantage also there's the fact that technology is evolving rapidly and with an eSIM you now have your sim profile on things like smartwatches cars your computers you name it it's just better and in fact with the same eSIM profile you can enable it to work on multiple devices. This is not the same as a regular SIM card which has just one physical SIM card tied to one smartphone. So how do you get the MTN eSIM? First off, today to get a normal SIM, you have to go to a store physically to buy a plastic SIM card and have to join the network. That card will of course only work with one device. With an eSIM, you will only need to get your eSIM activation voucher linked to your existing profile or a new MTN profile which you've created. You scan the QR code, download your profile and install it on any of the supported devices and bam, you're done. Of course, you have to register it. So what are the supported devices you may ask? Of course, there are many smartphones that support it and if you bought a smartphone recently which does support eSIM, Yes, you can head over to an MTN store to get started. For smartwatches as well, Huawei's watch, Apple watch, and even the Galaxy watch, among many others, um, you know, great times ahead really in mobile communications for Nigeria and really, really looking forward to this. What do you guys think about eSIMs, especially MTN's eSIM being launched first in Nigeria? Would you get one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments or my YouTube, uh, my social media, I'll display my handles and I'll be sure to engage with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and do have a lovely day.